Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good evening. It's a Thursday today. It's June the 8th, 2023. Another session where we are saying to all the new members, even those who've been with us for a while, welcome to APL Go. We're going to share a bit about who we are, a bit about our culture, and really some things about the mindset. So you being here, as always, because today it's about how you're going to start doing your business the right way. Please sit back, relax. Please make sure that you've got a pen and paper with you and take notes because it's very important that you write things down. My name is Julia Maliga, and I've been with this business since it started in South Africa, which is April 2021, roughly two years, two months, <laughs> right there. Two, two is a good number. So yes, uh, it's been an amazing journey. What we're going to share with you today is some of the things that we learned along the way. We've been taught this system, but you will realize that you gradually get into it, get to understand what is actually network marketing and why APL Go. So welcome to all of you. Hopefully some of your members will join us shortly um who will be helping me with admitting said who else is the co-host let's see okay will i be able to make it said please help me make someone else maybe the co-host so that they can help me admit those that are joining us shortly all right so Today's session, every Thursday, we talk about successful start, partner start, meaning we would like for you when you start this business to do it successfully. So we are sharing with you what we learned and what we understand that if you adopt it, it will actually work for you as well. So it is from experience from seasoned networkers. It is experience of us as well as we go along and get into this profession of network marketing. So enjoy tonight's session. All right. Now, the first thing that we would love to share with you are the core values of APL Go. And this is very important because every time when you join either a company or an organization, they tell you about their culture, they tell you about how they interact with each other. But then with APL Go, do you even know that we have these core values that we would love to share with you and for you to live by? It is very important that you understand that you are all leaders. We are not calling you a leader by default. It's because when you join this business, you automatically become a leader because you are the first before all the people you're going to sign up. Whether you have registered people yet or not, you are a leader. And we are asking you to go and find out more about what leadership is all about and live your life according to what that is. Once you understand it, you will realize that your growth is not dependent on anyone around you but yourself. However, the people that you are going to build the business with, they need to see you doing certain things so that they can follow in your footsteps. That is very important with APL Go. No wonder even the president of this company started as a network marketer himself. He understands this beautifully. So leadership is one of the core values that we live by. Integrity is the next one. Now, it is very important that whatever you do and promise to do, you actually deliver on it. You need to be an honest leader. You need to protect the brand of APL Go. No matter how hard or when something doesn't go right, um, you feel like, oh my goodness, there it goes again. Do not go around spreading bad information about APL Go. If you speak bad about it, it's going to be hard for you to rebuild the trust of your team about the company. 
So if you have any challenges, find out the right way of dealing with those challenges. So it's very important that we take care of the company's brand and your brand as well. So that links with your integrity. That links with how people will end up trusting you. And what I love the most within this business is the collaboration. We work so well together as leaders that you would think we're in the same structure. It's just mind blowing how we can actually get together and decide that we are going to do this together as a team. We collaborate because we all have different skills. So please take note of that. This is what made APL Go survive so far in SA. While we had so many challenges, if it was not for the collaboration, and if it was not for the collective, we would not be here today. So take that in and understand who you have just partnered with. That's who we are. And that's our culture. That's how we adopted all these values. When you go in on, on, on our website and you go and check APL Go's values, you will see the one that talks about support. Now, APL Go says, we will support all our associates. You are all our associates. So when we say you are a business partner, in APL Go, we call you an associate. We will support your business, especially with network marketing, having a bad name. We will try as APL Go to make sure that we rebuild that. We get people to trust again in network marketing. Now, the big one is that APL Go supports family. This is a family business. And they want that when you grow, you grow with your family. When you go on trips, if you win anything, you need to go with your partner there. It is a family business. The people who own APL Go, one lovely family. So if you didn't know, if you are married, you can actually have a couple account. So it doesn't have to be an individual account. All you need to do is to go in your back office, send your marriage certificate and request them to make it a couple account. What it means is every time you rank up, every time you win an incentive, you both get what is due to you. No wonder we treat each other as family within APL Go because this is one of the main values that we have. So we hope that you will adopt the same. And if you are having any challenges, you will know where to go. If not, please ask. All right. So <laughs> I thought tonight, can we please get the difference and understand why people confuse direct sales with network marketing. I think it's time that we kind of dive into that. Have you ever had a response that said, when you are trying to get them to be part of the business, they say, but I cannot sell. If so, can I see how many people? Have you ever had a response that says, ah, your company is lovely, but you are not, not and sell. Let's check. I'm going to check the chat there. Have you ever had that response? Is it just me? Can I see? Yes. Okay. Level says yes. Ah, no. Mm -mm. You're starting again with this business of yours. I love it, but I, I cannot sell. Yes, Lita Jane. I see that. Lita Jane. Liza. Yes. Okay. So I'm not alone. So I guess you understand what I'm saying. And I do not blame them. Guys, we understand where it comes from. 
The first experience they might have had of network marketing is when someone was knocking on their door and selling something, doing direct sales. So obviously going forward, every time they hear network marketing, they're going to link it with direct selling. Let's quickly show you the difference of what these two are and how they can actually benefit you and you deciding how you want to do this business. Now, the first thing is when you do direct sales, direct sales is you, you have a product. Yes, you bought it at wholesale. You are selling it at retail amount. You have this product. You have to go out and sell this product. And you are doing it years for yourself. You're in business for yourself, of course. I mean, who else would you be in business for? But it ends there. It ends with you selling that product. Network marketing says, yes, you're in business for yourself, but guess what? You're not doing it by yourself. There is leverage when you do network marketing. There is a team, there's collaboration. There are people rooting for you to grow. Another thing that's different about it is that for you to succeed and make money, you need to sell. With network marketing, selling is an option or it comes naturally. But the main way for you to make money is when you build a, or an organization, meaning when you are growing your team. So when you build an organization, it helps you a lot because you're not only dependent on just the selling, which I really want you to get the difference. Let's talk about the last one. So when you sell, you get commission from that. When you do network marketing, you get a bonus from that. So selling is an active income, meaning if you don't do anything and show people this product, no one will buy it. If you don't go knock on doors, no one will buy it. If you get sick, your business is dead. If for some reason for that month, you can't do anything, then you do not have an income because it depends on you being active. However, network marketing gives you the opportunity to have a passive income. Once you have built your organization, even if you get sick for that week, even if uh, you go on holiday, you go to Mauritius for a week, there's still income. That passive income is what's important because it's passive, but it also grows. Now, I hope this is helping you to really get the difference. We are not saying in network marketing there's no selling. But selling comes as a byproduct because of you selling. People will want to buy because they know that you have this product, not that you just focus on selling. So if you have both skills, awesome for you. But just understand, for you to make a whole lot of money and using leverage, the network marketing way will help you more than anything. Because we don't want you to be so tired that you're tired of selling. <laughs> and then you end up saying, APL Go does not work. You see, I've been in a lot of them. Before I joined APL Go, I did others but I treated them like direct sales companies. I would have a lot of stock. It's either I wouldn't be able to sell it, or even if I sold it, I will chow that money, and then I don't have money to restock. And then I say, I, it's not working. It's so stressful. If only I knew that the main way of creating this additional income is actually to do network marketing. So think about it. As you sit in there, where are you? 
think about your reasons why you became a partner. What will sustain you years to come? What will make you not give up? Is it direct sales or network marketing? I'm just sharing with you the difference. You decide. Now that you're thinking about it, um, <laughs> you have joined this company already. You said, look, I want to be a business partner in APL Go. Now we are saying we need to build the right culture. Are you a recruiter or are you a sponsor? Do you even know the difference? The reason the word recruiter, people don't like it, is because most people who would just serially recruit, they will just get you in the business and that's it. They get their bonus, they are gone. You won't see that person again. They just recruit you and their job is done. But if you're a sponsor, which is what we advocate for here at APL Go, is that after you sign up this person, it is your responsibility to teach the person, to say, look, this is what we do. Share information. Get them to understand how this business works. You are now committing to this person and saying, look, I am here to help you reach your dreams. I am responsible to making sure that you get to where you want to go. And I am here to help you. So you teach, this is a commitment and this is your responsibility. Now, I wanna ask you, do you want a sponsor as your upline or do you want a recruiter as an upline? Let me know, I'll wait. Do you want a sponsor as an upline or do you want a recruiter? Because most people leave the business because they're not getting benefit of it. A sponsor, thank you leaders. We need a sponsor. But then my next question is, are you a sponsor to your team? Are you also the person who just went AWOL on your team? Because now you need to be a sponsor as well. That's very important. You need to be a sponsor. So ask yourself this question and say, okay, if I want my upline to be a sponsor, then it means my team also requires me to be a sponsor. So if you did not know the difference, this is it. And this is what we're advocating for here within APL Go. Please take care of your team. Hey, this hot topic, I had to add it in, hey? <laughs> we had to add this one in. This is the hot topic, that pyramid thing that people tell you about. I'm not joining that thing. But this one is not really about what people are saying. I really, really want you to understand that yes, network marketing might be in a form of a pyramid, but it's an inverted pyramid. Now, all other traditional businesses, they also follow a pyramid shape. The unfortunate thing is that those who are in businesses like that it's building from top to bottom. And the people at the bottom can never reach the top. A pure example of a pyramid is a job. There is the owner at the top. There are managers, there are supervisors, and there's everyone else, all the other staff members, which are so many of them. And as it goes up, obviously it forms a pyramid. No matter how much you would have made, help this company to make money, you will never all of you get to the top. You will never be the owner or the CEO. 
not all hundred of you can be managers. Now, that's a normal pyramid as we know it. MLM, it is a pyramid shape as well. However, it's from bottom up. So meaning, even though there's many of us here, we say it starts with you. When you look at it, it's like, okay, I've just joined the business and it's so open for me. You can actually go and earn way more than your sponsor. You have space at the top because it's wide open at the top. Now that is why network marketing is the industry that makes millionaires faster than any other industry because it is open at the top. You decide that, okay, it's me, I'm starting here. Where do I want to go on this pyramid? Your space is there. It's not dependent on any CEO. It's not dependent on your qualifications. It's not dependent on your educational level. It's not dependent on whether you can speak English or not. It's not dependent on anything except you saying to yourself, I have a spot there. It is waiting for me. So now that you are here, please understand that you are able to reach your dreams way beyond you could think. And this is an organization that is growing so fast and you can be a part of it. And this, we are not sharing any pies here. <laughs> you have your space your own space, claim it, claim it. As I said yesterday, this is your time. So now that you know what network marketing is, now that you know what we are all about, what we advocate for, we advise you to please write down your goals. I'm sure you've heard this a million times. There is power with pen to paper. There is so much power in that. Remember why you decided to partner with APL Goal. What is the bigger vision that you have? It's important to write your short-term goal for that reason and the long-term goal for that. Sit with your sponsor, get this done. Another thing is we have rent qualifications. Do the same. These two are different types of goals, but they work together. So you look at the rent qualifications, sit with your sponsor and say, look, in short term, I want to be here, but long term, this is where I want to be. And please, when you're sitting down with your sponsor, writing down these goals, make sure that you are specific. Don't generalize. Make sure you can measure this goal because you'll be saying, I actually started here, now I'm here. Look at it and say, is it attainable? Is it comfortable with me? Don't make it too comfortable. Make, make your goal to stretch you a bit. You know, don't say, I just want this. I think I can, no, 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 stretch it a bit. Yes, you need to be realistic. You need to look at your surroundings, look at everything that's happening around you and say, okay, is this really realistic that I would want it at this time? Because it has to be time bound. So you can't have a goal and say, oh, I, I just want to be a director rank. And you just don't know by when do you want it. Once you have a time bound to it, you will push to get it. You've heard this so many times, but let me tell you, there is power with pen to paper. And the reason I say that is that because these days we're using gadgets, we end up just typing our goals. I urge you to find paper. I urge you to find that book, that journal, somewhere to write because there is power in that. When you take out your thoughts and take your energy and transform it into that, you'll be amazed. 
one day when one of those three of those four of those goals happen you'll be like wow i promise you you're going to be so impressed with yourself because you were specific so your goals need to be smart follow that follow that and see them coming through i'll share with you one day <laughs> how this is working out for me so i'm talking about something that i understand i'm sure some of you have have read or seen the secret some people believe in the universe some people believe in god with all of those that you believe in they all have to do with say it and write it down so please leaders let's do that now we want to share this model with you because we want you to get started the right way because we are doing network marketing we would love for you to understand that there's the model that we have of try and share so now that you have registered you're going to receive your product some of you already have the first thing is please use the products and your, share your experience. Share your experience. That is the best way to grow your organization. You need to be the product of your product. You cannot ask people to partner with you when you don't even use your own product. Whether you feel ill or not, find a supplement that resonates with you, that you feel that, you know what, this one I can take every day. Remember, these supplements are not pills, so you're not waiting until you get sick for you to take them. You can take them every day just to boost your immune system. So use the product. I assure you, you're going to feel something. Share the products with others as well, and then share their experience. Now you sharing gives you testimonies. With these testimonies, people around you want to taste them as well. People around you would want to be part of this amazing company that actually takes care of people's health. And while you get healthy, well, there's the, the wealth that's coming with it. Make it simple. So when people see how you actually grow your business, they're going to feel like they can do it too. They're not going to feel like they have to go knocking on people's doors. No. What you need to do, first of all, is just do this model. Try and share. Now, remember we talked about being a sponsor. And we did say this is APL's goals way of doing business. Now there's power of your sponsor. It's very important that you understand that your sponsor normally will work with those who are asking for help and are eager to work. Imagine, like, there is no way that a sponsor will know unless you ask for help. Not saying the sponsor shouldn't check up on you. That's very important. They need to do that. However, they cannot force you to work. They cannot force you to have that eagerness to grow. So the both of you, there needs to be that connection. There needs to be that teamwork. So your sponsor is also responsible for making you aware of your five upline sponsors. So you know that this is your sponsor. Who's your sponsor sponsor? Who's up to the fifth one? Because these people are the ones that are interested in your growth more than anyone else. It makes it so much easier if you don't find your direct sponsor that you can go to your upline and say, okay, I can't find us. Can you help me with one, two, three? know how it goes all the way up that's a family for you that's how we make sure that we, you are taken care of 
you will not have an excuse that I did not have anyone to speak to. Together with your sponsor, I cannot stress this enough. Please attend presentations, please attend events and trainings. It is so, so crucial. This is where you get your energy revived. You being here is so appreciated. It is so appreciated because this is how you get information. This is how you get to understand what needs to be done. When you attend events, we always come out, you know, excited. And at the events, we also bring our prospects. So when you attend an event and you attend alone, what will happen? You're gonna come out of the excited, but how are you gonna transfer the excitement to others? Not possible. So every time you think of attending an event, come with your team. Come with your team. You are going to see the difference in growth. Do not do it alone. This is very important. I would love to share these business steps with you. As this session is mainly for those who just registered, but also for those who've been with us for a while, it's because some of us forget some of these uh, steps. Remember this joint, right? What you need to be good at is a, being an amazing inviter. You need to excel in inviting. That's all. Why? It's because when you invite, you do not need to present. For some people, they feel like, I cannot join your business. You just presented to me, now I can never do this. So it's important for the person that you're speaking to your prospect to see how easy and simple it is. So you need to use third party tools to help you present to this prospect. Once you've invited them to a presentation, someone else will be doing the presentation. Once you invite them to the event, someone is running the event. You invite them for training, someone is doing the training. You send them a video, it's still a third party doing it. So when this person realized, oh, oh so you invited me and someone else did the whole presentation, therefore it means it's easy. I can also do it. I can just invite people and get a third party tool to help me. You see, it took me time to get to understand this part because I know APL Go. <laughs> I can present to this person, but I have to remember that Julia, no. When you do that, people look at you and like, yo, I can never be as good as you. And then they end up not being part of the business, not registering because you are showing them how hard it is. You are presenting to them. All you need to do is to spark interest, get to understand what they are interested in and say, look, if you want more information, you want to know more, there's WhatsApp presentation. Come join the WhatsApp presentation, add them there. There's Zoom presentations on this and this and this day. Tell them about that. Then they realize that, oh, so I don't need to be presenting. Yes, so you show them by action. Now, after they attend to this presentation, please do not miss a three-way call. Whether this person has signed up or not, you must really do a three-way call. What is a three-way call? So a three-way call is for your sponsor to be able to meet this prospect or a member if they've already registered and close the deal for you. So now please understand, all you had to do was invite and then they attended the presentation. You didn't need to do the presentation. And then you do a three-way call. You don't need to close this person so that they sign up 
I come on that. So those who have made it, network marketers who are doing millions in Europe, in USA, everywhere, they tell us the same thing. Your job is not to close this person. And if your sponsor is not there or your sponsor might not relate to this person. For example, if you find someone who is um, a doctor and you know within our business, there's a doctor already, just ask that leader. Remember the collaboration? They don't have to be in your structure. Ask for this doctor and say, look, can we do a three-way call? Because they might understand each other on based on their uh, qualifications. Based on that, it's going to be easy to close the person. Now, the first step is to get plugged in. Obviously, now, once the person signs in, then you follow the system again. And duplication is the last, but obviously, if you can get this right by making everything simple, then you're going to create freedom for yourself. You don't have to sit there and help this person every time when there's something. They're able to be independent and run with this on their own. So this is the system we follow. Once you can get this, you will understand when we say network marketing is the most amazing, amazing profession. Because leverage that you get here, you do not get anywhere else. So leaders, welcome to APOGO. Great. Great. Thank you so much for being with us. <laughs> Um, I know I spoke about a number of things, but I need you to please ask if there's some clarity you need, if um, there are certain things that you still feel like you're stuck on, we learn as we go, or if you need to add, I might have said some of the things, but obviously we can't say everything. So if you feel that, look, um, I also want to share something that other leaders might use and might benefit their business. Please, you're welcome to do that. We still have about 10 minutes and I would love to use it in that way where other leaders are also sharing. What is it that makes network marketing a success? How we can actually make it? I'm sure some of you have, have experienced years and years of experience. So I would appreciate to hear from you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let me see if there's anyone here whose hand is up. All righty. Oh, Lira Liza, I see your hand is up, leadership. You're welcome to unmute. Good evening, leaders. Good evening, leadership. Evening, evening. Hi. As for me, I've got, I'm stuck, let me say like that. Don't, I don't want to say it's a problem. I'm trying my best and I'm not a quitter. My team, I grew, meet, I do everything for them. When it's time for training the, or events, my phone is not working, my phone is ever a problem. I'm committed this time, you know, I, I, I just ask myself, I don't know what to do now. I don't know, what, know whether to stop helping them. When I stop, it won't be right again. Mm. I won't benefit anything. Yeah. What, uh, what advice can you give me, leadership? Mm -hmm. what, how can you advise me? Wow. <laughs> please it's so painful i'm so excited to see leader mama kaba was in but now i understand that they've got the problem with a, 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 a network in their area mm. Mm. otherwise always i'm alone even in yeah. events yeah thank you very much you're welcome leadership. 
Thank you so much for that question. And I do believe most of us have experienced it at some point where our leaders, our team are not independent. And that is the very first thing that we need to teach our team from the beginning, from the beginning, <laughs> as others used to say, but from the beginning, leader Liza, what needs to happen is that when you sit down and talk about what their goals are, one of the discussion points is for them to be independent. It's for them to be able to run their own business. So they needed to get that difference from the beginning and then say, how are you going to be independent? I will tell you this, Lida Natalia <laughs> always had to say to us, do not ever register any of your members. They would rather struggle. You rather sit with them on the phone, guide them, but they need to press that. From the beginning, you build a culture of independence and an understanding that this is your business and you need to run it. Unfortunately, even with me, I learned that along the way. <laughs> I learned that along the way. And sometimes you feel like, oh, this person is always saying they can't do this, they stuck here, let me just do it. By doing that, you are enabling them to depend on you. And as the team grows, you're going to see difficulty, as you're saying. So my advice to you is to go back on one-on-ones, have those sessions and say, okay, how we started was not the right way. Now that you're in this business and it is your business, how are we gonna do it going forward? Have those terms agreed upon so that they are independent ultimately. So it's very important. However, I would love other leaders just to add, I just wanna take over, but if you're responding to this question, I would love to hear from you how you actually do it. But I realized that from the beginning, if you don't set those boundaries or the understanding of that it is your business, I yes, I'm gonna guide you, but I'm not gonna do it for you. If you haven't done that, then you must start doing that. Mom can see for sure, I'm seeing your hand. You welcome leadership. Are you helping us with this question? Good evening, good evening. Uh, Jules, yes, my today and yesterday, you are a new person. Uh, you went to Mauritius and then you were rebirth. Thank <laughs> you to that. <laughs> Why am I saying this honestly? Um, I believe the incentive was one of the blessing to us as APL goers. And I want everyone on this call tonight to understand why am I saying this? Because we can say all the good things, but I truly believe in so much of our God. My God is your God. Um, it is a restart. Like, I won't call you Kaliza. I <laughs> look at the surname. I think if you have noticed when we were busy, like Urtela Tuba on the group with recruiting, I was saying, yo, Umam Liza Uvugil. But it's good with Uba Uvugil. And then when I say, um, Lira Julia has been rebirth, it's not only her, I think all of us. Yeah. What was happening in Mauritius, we, when we are not at Mauritius, being at home, Neri Chapa, for you know what? The reason we are not at Mauritius it is us who has failed the most easiest incentive ever. Fast forward to today, when I say it's a rebirth, I think each and every one of us has to do a homework, revisit yourself, look at yourself, what is it that you have not been doing from when you started the business? Now I made a decision, ladies and gentlemen, to look at myself. How have I been doing and what is it that I have not been doing right? And I've cousered myself, I have looked at myself. There's a difference between a business partner and a customer. 
I want to be honest with you. We, most of us, had customers, not business owners. Because if we can do the interview of exactly all the steps that are written here before we sign up a person, we will be able to identify that we've got business partners that they want to duplicate. And it will be from them what they want. And they will be teachable from the day one and they will know the resources. When we always do our how to get started on a Thursday, we talk of the resources. One being a phone, Wi-Fi, working tools, no excuse. No, there's a time where when you want something and you are hungry enough, load shedding, it can never even be an excuse. You have a schedule. I stay in Dubai. Schedule of deep proof and Dubai, they are not the same. My parents' home is in deep proof. I've got friends who are in different uh, location of my own. If the presentation is at the time of the schedule where you got load shedding, if you are hungry enough and you really want this thing, it's a make or break thing. Believe you me, you will make sure at the time of the meeting, you are at the place where load shedding is not going to be a problem. You make solution when there is a challenge. So I am saying to all of us here, let us revisit ourselves. Why do we have people who are still, even today, they are not on business because they came for different reasons? I don't know if I make a lot of sense. Going forward to all of us, let's take the notes of today. This meeting today, it's, it's being recorded. If you've got a prospect, send it to them at their comfort of their time when they have data, when they don't have excuse. It has to be a rule to say, listen to it from the beginning until the end and make a decision. And when they decide they are in, leave them like that. Don't keep on nagging them. Then that's where they see that not even that they see that. That's where we are showing desperation to them. But when the person comes to you and says, Naki ready, I want to sign up. Now you are working with a different person. This person wants the person. This person is hungry. Now you're doing the right. I've made a decision. I'd rather stay without signing anyone. I'll only sign a person who wants. And if you can even see on the group, now I'm no longer sending to say congratulations mang mang has signed i sit in my even in the small group that i have with my team i don't do that anymore it's a congratulation between me and that person lastly let us communicate with the people that are saying they are business people and ask them can i please add you to the group do you want to be in the group because there are people who don't want to be in the group and when they don't want to be in the group respect the reason, and then when they need information, give them information. And then with me, what I've seen works because I'm blessed to be around the office. If a person says they want to be in the business, I make a meeting at the office. I make sure I phone Kim and make an appointment. It's Kim who's going to present, not me. My three-way call, it's been done. When we finish to say, now she says she wants to be a business. And I've done it immediately. Uh, she's not, she doesn't know Kim. Uh, she's not familiar with Kim. It's a different game, ball game altogether. By the time we live there, my prospect has got product and has decided what she wants. So in closing, ladies and gentlemen, from me to all of you, let's do right. And then while we are looking and searching for diamonds, let's put God first. And the right people will come with the right, right mindset. We mustn't go out there and look for people who at the end of the day, they will shame us because they're just coming to do us favors. Let's not do favors. APL is the best business ever. Let's do it right. I love you all and good night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom Kenzie. Thank you so much. Woo! Okay, I do not want to spoil all of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and let's see the next hand. Lebo, yes, you're welcome to speak leadership. 
Okay, evening. Good evening. Morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, leadership. And yeah, and Mom Kenzie, thank you so much. Uh, just to add on that, I have learned in my years of network marketing that sometimes we, and maybe it happens to, you know, all of us, we tend to forget because we've been in the workplace, we tend to forget that we are here to run our businesses. But we think we still have the job mentality as if you are at someone's office or someone's company where you have a manager that you have to report to. So I think one thing that we can also learn is to make sure that as much as we need to prepare ourselves, we need to know that, yes, I'm not here working for anyone. I'm here building my business. I'm here uh, building a life that, you know, or a legacy, a life that I'd want to, to, to live. But then as we, 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 we sponsor people in, we need to also make them aware that this is not a job, uh, um, what is it, environment. Here you are running your own business because what I've noticed is that people wait to listen to the manager. So another thing is that we might find ourselves managing them, you know, because now they are waiting for the manager. The manager or the supervisor must come and tell them, go, please do this report. Come back and do this, do this. So they don't become independent from day one. So I think that's another topic that maybe we need to raise as we are bringing them into the business to say that. And I think how we also start that is we, they need to know why they are here. Yeah. Because one thing is that you are inviting somebody to come to hear about this opportunity, right? And at the time, yes, maybe they love the product. Maybe they think, oh yeah, we need money and we will really sign up. But now they need to then find it within themselves. Ask themselves this question. Why? Why are you signing up with APL Go? What is it that you want to achieve from that? And I think that's where then the goal setup or the goal setting up is, is very important. Once a person knows why they are doing it, tomorrow, if they are not doing, like for example, coming to training, then they have to ask themselves, I said, I want to achieve one, two, three. I want to be able to take my kids to this school, but now I'm not even attending training. Will I ever achieve that? So I think it's just, you know, it's just a thin line where people need to get out of the job mentality and come and be business owners. Thank you. That's all. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lebo. Ooh, okay. So what do you say after that? Who can help me add to that? Thank you so much. Mom can see for sure, leader Lebo. I think, Liza, with all these um, comments, it's also a response to you as well. I hope you're grasping that, getting to see how you can use it. Okay. Thank you so much, leaders. All right. Wow. I'm also blown away, by the way. So Anyone else who would like to say something? Otherwise, I think our session will end here. This is the whole reason we're having these Thursday sessions so we can chat to each other, advise each other in terms of how we can grow. Okay, let's see the comments before I see a hand. I'm not sure if there's a hand, but let me just read a few comments and see. All right, I'm a sponsor, I'm a sponsor. Okay. Okay, level success steps in network marketing powerful. Hmm. Fist pump, Tam Tabizo, thank you. Queen powerful, mom party. I think I was a recruiter, not a sponsor to my downliners. Thanks for the info. You're welcome. Dr. Stay, okay, he needed to leave. Okay, Winnie says, I agree, Lira can see. Okay, let's see. Thank you so much, Mom Can see from Liza. Powerful from William. True that, Lira level, true that. From Winnie, Liza, thanks, Leader Level, Magdalene, so profound leaders. Thank you very much. Please have a lovely evening. I appreciate you being here. Go and be a sponsor. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Thank you very much. Good Bye. night. Thank you. Thank very you and good night. Bye. Bye. Night.